Well done. Yeah, yeah, you have to come late, but he he's there wherever you need him. I was yeah. lucky, kind of bullied my way in, and then I've had a chance to get onto the rail um, to follow Hughes. And once that happened, I had open daylight and probably could have done with being there three strides later, but yeah. He was just going forward and I just kept momentum going forward for him and he's hung on well. You probably were further back than you wanted to be early mm. on or was that? I was nearly happy. I, yeah. was, I was nearly happy being there because I know how well he's strong when he travels through the race and he yeah. does have a turn of gear. Um, Careful. Yeah. So I was never too worried. We was going probably just about a good enough gallop. It was just trying to follow the right horses, not getting uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. trapped behind. Horses that probably shouldn't yeah, he just there. does enough, doesn't he? Yeah. But Mike, he's got some he'll engine. Always, yeah, you'll never know how far he'll go until he starts really losing and getting beaten well. Yeah. But he's always one step ahead of the handicapper. And probably as time goes on, the way he's growing up and relaxing, when that trend starts to come over a mile, he probably will allow you to go up again, but mm. I'd be keeping him out of mile for a good while. Yeah, no, no, no. We found the trick. We've worked it out yeah. the hard way because we stepped him up last season and it didn't work. Yeah, it, yeah it, it would only be a consideration because he's that year older when he reaches his mark, and he's yeah. not reached it yet, well, but, you know, down the line, a good while down the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ross said, unreal. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Thank you.